Anyone old that needed help or need to go? Well, something say I need help. Who do I have? One of you kids. I'm who else? What else do you need? I'm what else do you need, Georgie? Well, you maybe, maybe I'll tell you. The way I move around, I probably don't need your help. Well, you better <laughs> keep on moving now. <laughs> My 87-year-old mother takes care of me. Well, I she try. doesn't have any. She was worried about her her uh, arms today. I just thought, don't look at her. Don't worry about your arms. She got better health than anybody I know. That's 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 Most of them are in wheelchairs or something. I know. Just don't I know one time I've heard you. I've told you guys this before. When that poor old mother we was sitting there with long sleeves on, you know, and she was up. I don't know how old she was maybe close to 80 or something. I said, Mother Whalen, I said, you're too hot. Why don't you cut off some of those sleeves? Oh, Georgie, look at my freckles. She had freckled arms, you know, and good big arms. They wasn't skinny like that. And uh, I said, well, now, what's the difference? I get the, we got those sleeves cut off, and she was just tickled to death. But she just thought her arms were too ugly, freckled and big, you know. And there she was suffering. And I look at these, and oh, my. <laughs> I hate to make fun of them because they've been good to me. I'm not making fun of them, but they do look terrible. Yeah, they don't. They don't at all. You yeah, you you look at that. You see yourself different than other people see you. You you don't. You know, I I, I got something hanging down there, but I don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> we met Waddle, and that was all filled like yours one time. I had a big arm. Sure, I did. Come here, Nikki. Come sit over grandma's lap. Well, honey, you look great. You really I do. I told Robin coming out, I said, I worried about my arms and looking so terrible. And then I said, I said, look at Hilda and Esther. I said, here they got on shorts and just a bra on here and everything else. And they don't mind it at all. Here, I'm worrying about my arms. Come here, Nikki. Sit on grandma's lap. I'm shaking up. Well, you better shut the door there. All the cold air will come out. Keep old Jack Frost in there. He'll come out on you. Shut the door so Jack Frost won't come out. Don't get your finger in it. Just shut it, Nikki. Shut it. He's got a bad habit of standing and looking in the refrigerator. You don't. take after your grandpa, don't you? Mm. Well, isn't that pretty? That is oh. beautiful. Oh. Rusk. That's oh. really pretty. Oh, Bob, that's pretty. That is just beautiful. That'll look nice and blue, won't it? Oh, yes. That is pretty. With a little oh. handkerchief. Oh, no, that was handkerchief. That's pretty. Oh, I like that. A lot of material. <laughs> like ha like having a, buying a tent. Well, hey. beautiful, Dad. Look pretty yeah, with a lot of different colors. You'll enjoy that taking to meetings huh? and stuff. You'll enjoy that going to I meetings. I thought he would. I just thought, well, why not? Why That's not? a good idea, Nana. He needed one, and we offered to get him one, and he's never going to lose weight. So you just need to wait to buy him a suit. Not to get out to a suit. This your guy on television, what's his name? Bob likes him well. Uh, out here, radio, I mean. Yeah. Um, where's Bang? Uh, a week ago, he lost 35 pounds. Did he? That's a Bob's big. lost 35, 40, 50 pounds time after time. But Bob's getting get bigger for the minute, ain't he? Mom bought that for me for my birthday. Um, well, that is for your really birthday nice. and Father's Day. So I thought, well, I he could enjoy it. He goes to meetings and stuff like that. He can have a nice coat to wear. Why not get it for him? Yeah. It's a beauty. I think that's the first birthday present I ever got. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm giving you some little bit. Uh. 65 years ago, we was out in the country, out to hell and Leo's, and they was putting up hay. I was amazing. I was amazed that uh, when I walked into the courthouse and they went right to my birth certificate. Who did? Uh, Mom didn't think we ever had a birth certificate, so I went down to Magoopin County Well, I heard you have one down there, honey, but I didn't. And I went in and I said, I want to look for a birth certificate. And, you know, there's the usual two or three little old ladies sitting around that look like they were 85 years old and should have retired a long time ago. And, and uh, they said, what's your name and when was your birthday? And I, I gave it to them. And they went right over and pulled this big ledger out and opened it up and went right down the line and there I was. It was entered in there in, uh, on July the 3rd, so they didn't let it lay around very long. So they could give you a copy of it, is that right? Yeah. And then it. you had it for your records? I got a copy of it. Is that our doorbell? Yes. Well, it's is probably that, uh, Taylor. Well, I'm glad you got one, but I had to have mine for school to get my attention. 
why the um, Elmer went up and got it at not the courthouse or the state house. Uh -huh. Mine was over there. And I, and then when I had to give it in from a pension, they told me I got to get it back, so I don't even have one now. Oh really? You should have had somebody copy it for you. Brian got in it the other day. Oh, I did? He thought maybe you'd come by. Is the water pretty warm? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Looks like the life of Taylor to me. Boy, boy, you can't beat that. No. Grandma says she's going to get you and Nikki one of these to take home with you. What? A pool like this. So you'd have one out there to swim in. <laughs> There's nothing under. And the grass is under it some others about. Come on. Come on then. Next look. Are we going to look at some more flowers? Uh huh, we're going out in front. Oh. We sure got some pretty stepping stones on these back here. Mom, they just started blooming. Oh, oh Mom. I think those are so pretty. And your impatience just look beautiful. Yeah, see those little pink nice. ones? Aren't they cute? Uh -huh. I can't see them. I can see they're a flower, but I can't the see them. The impatience has come out real nice this year. She'll always have to up. So she didn't get so many this year. On set. She thought she'd go to across to see her mother. Mom. Mom. Oh. Well, Betty, you really got a nice garden. See, this one's come out. It's purple. There's two more buds. It's going to be real pretty. See the buds there? Uh-huh. And those are yellow down there. Uh-huh. Oh, and the pink. It's 70 years old. Good. Oh, watch. I had a robin when I was a young girl. I was in the Montgomery Ward and sent, got it. Mom did for me. And, uh... Bob come by and had a laying on the table to see it, and he went to see if they couldn't fix it. And actually, I knew they could fix it, so they were good out there in the garage. So, you know, I brought that home from Lampier. They, um, when they built the uh, Edison on, you know, they was, had nails in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's the nails in it. So I brought it home. I, I thought I'd paint it and kind of make a barrel and set it around somewhere, and I never did get it done. But you know what? I didn't uh, fill it full of dirt. I, this is just a pot. I put bricks up uh, so high. I think you've done the right thing. And then this is in a little pot so it won't rip down on it. But see how they're growing out at the bottom? You know, I always like to get spindly. Uh, if I could see a violet, they had on sale density hair. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see the, the, what they profit. Yeah. And you bring them home, they're already... It is fun when they come out of it. Oh, you little devil, I'd like to see See, he's sitting right up there. See, they don't get that boiling hot sun in the evening. Uh-huh. Nana, she picks them after they've bloomed, you know, she makes sure and picks off all the blooms that have bloomed. Yeah. Some of them are cinders, and some we brought her, we found at our house, and, but little by little, she went all the way around. Doesn't it look pretty? Yeah. Well, I've done that to that uh, old tree there by our back um, door, you know. Uh, every time I go over to the bank to cash her check or anything, I'd bring five or six of them home with me and put them around off the railroad track. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how I got all those there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every time. Okay, we'll go around. I think that would look pretty in front of our house. Your little red bush growing, or what was it you took home? I got the a uh, couple that were uh, for sale. Yeah, they were green with uh, and yellow leaves. Yeah. Are they growing? Yeah. Yes, it is. You want to get mad and pout? You can just come out here and sit down <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> I might. That'd be a good place for somebody to pout, wouldn't pout, it? Just sit there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, gone. Taylor told me you called Nana, and then I just forgot to call That's you back. That's all right. I just, he wanted to know if I wanted anything there. I talked to your dad, his dad, and I said, no, I just wanted to thank him for helping Bob plant mm -hmm. it down. Mm -hmm. Those bushes, pretty. Real pretty. And then, see, Nana, come down here in the end. Uh, this is the same kind of little bush that I, I got, yeah. only it's bigger. But see, the more the more sun they get, the yellower the leaves get. Isn't that pretty? Uh -huh. It is. They only have got one at the back of their yard, or back of the garage. 
I think they're so pretty. I, I thought once get something like that for out to our post, where you put that little evergreen tree. Uh huh. Something like that to put in. And then I don't know. Then I kind of fell for the evergreen tree. What's mm -hmm. these? Just rocks. Get someone to steal them. No, I don't think they will. Well, it looks mighty nice. I'll tell you that. Yes, it does. That house looks so pretty. Uh huh. Well,